cheat codes in Unreal Engine are something that I get asked about a lot. And I've uh, written a little system today and wanted to try something different to kind of walk you through how I did a, a cheat code system in one of my frameworks. So what I've done here is there's three files. There's a master actor component, a child, and then just a struct for a cheat button entry. So what you're going to want to do is create a struct, which is blueprints, struct, call it whatever you like. And in here, I have an array of keys. So this means you can have one key, you can have 100 keys or whatever. It will look out for these keys in particular when a button's pressed. So for example, uh, I think I'm using a variant of the Konami code, uh, which is I think 12 keys. We'll see in a second anyway. So all you need is an array of keys, leave it empty, great. So now let's move on to the actual cheat actor component. Um, for those that don't know, you can create an actor component with blueprints, blueprint class, select actor component. And actor components are great because you can attach them to actors and they can have their own little code so you can put them anywhere really. Uh, but anyway, I digress. So in here, I have this event graph here. I've created an event called button pass through, given it an input, and that input is key. So if you remember with the uh, structs, it is an array of keys. So we gonna, we're gonna store the key just to stop wires going everywhere. And then we've got a thing called cheat code here, cheat code length. So here I've created a blank structs array. So an array of the structs that we made. Uh, and we've called it cheat code. So in the child blueprints of this, you'd fill these members in with cheat codes. Um, so, you know, like up, up, down, down, that would be up, up, down, down would be four entries. Um, and then I'll show you that bit in a second. So what we're seeing is getting the length of the cheat code and we're, you know, for every element in there, we're adding, we're scrolling through. So we're saying to check the index. So what we're going, because we've got an index of how far along are you in the uh, in the achievement. So for example, element zero is going to be up, element one is going to be up, element two is going to be down. Um, we're basically saying, hey, is, is the index equal to this index we're looking at? And if it is, then one, we're going to stop looping through because we found the key that we're looking for. And then we're going to check the key. So we're going to check the key that we've just been given against the cheat code base. And that's done in check key here. So again, uh, what we're going to do here is local match found is null. So we're going to start with no, there's not been a match. And then we're going to check if there's a key match. So get cheat code, get it, break the array. And then with the index from here, as you saw, just here, we're going to say, hey, for each one of the entries in this array, uh, is there anything equal to the key that we've been told to check for? If there is, we've found a match and then stop looking. So then when it's completed, we'll know if it's succeeded or not by if we found a match. And then we're going to do a branch. So did we find a match? No, reset the timer. Yes, we're going to check. Are we at the end of the array? So was this the last key we needed to put in? If it was, we're going to clear the timer, which we'll see in a second. And then we'll call a dispatcher, which is here. Uh, saying that the cheat has been activated. Dispatchers are great because you can kind of put them anywhere and uh, listen for when that's told to fire. And then when that fires, the place that you've told to listen out for it will fire its code. Um, and then obviously, if it isn't the end of the array, we're going to start a countdown timer so they don't have all day to put in the cheat code. Uh, that's going to be about three seconds. You can change that here. And all that will do is when the time's run out, we're going to empty the array so you start from the start of the cheat index and then we're going to stop the countdown timer. Um, then what we're also going to do is, because it's here, when it fires every time, it's going to reset the timer back to three seconds. So if you press up, up, down, it's then going to start three seconds instead of counting down three seconds from the first button press. And then at the very end, we're incrementing that index that we're using to search the cheat code index. Excellent. So then, as I said from there, I created a child, um, which is just right-click, create child blueprint class. Um, this basically means you can have the same code, but you can have different variables. Um, and as you can see here, I've made, uh, I've selected the cheat code and put some inputs in. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, number one, number two, and space bar. So all that's left now is to add component, and then you'd put in the child component in here. This is the uh, player character class, by the way. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but this is where I've put it because this is where I'm sending input. 
And then what I've done here is shown you a few different ways you can do this. So I've put an up value and then the keys being sent through as an example to send the up button. Alternatively, you can say specifically, no, this is a down button. Um, this way you can connect it to like input action and you could either use its key to say down in case, uh, in case you've got like a down button and then a, a down D pad button, but you only want the down button to work. Um, or you can just say on press, go down. It's really down to you. And then, yeah, so we're sending the inputs through. It doesn't really matter about the index here because the, the blueprint that we just created checks the index. And then what I did is I clicked on this, went down to cheat has been activated, which is our dispatcher. I created one of them and then I'm just printing string achievement unlocked. So when we test this now, um, we can go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, number one, number two, spacebar, achievement unlocked. It's really that simple. If you wanted to create a, a second cheat code, all that would be is going into cheat code Konami, uh, calling it whatever you like. I'm going to call it cheat poo poo. And then all you have to do is under cheat code is remove everything, create a few elements, and then you can add them here. Because um, we're using array, you can have more than one button. So it could be up button or P or Q, it doesn't really matter. And there you go. That's a really simple cheat code system. From where you take it from here is up to you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.